Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, so let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this is a reading of advice. So we're going to have advice about career and finance and then love and romance. So, you know what, let's start with love and romance. Let's see what the advice is for love. Okay, um, you need to let go of some baggage that you've been carrying in love and romance. Like, you really need to heal. Or you haven't healed. You say you heal, you say you're over it, but you're not. There's a chip on your shoulder. You're carrying this around. You do not express your emotions correctly, accurately. You need to be nicer. You need to learn how to be in relationships that are conducive to longevity. You can get in a relationship, but it doesn't stick around. It's not long term. All right, let's see. What else do we have to tell Taurus? Yeah, you need to start listening to your intuition. The only way you can do that is to start to declutter your emotional space. We just talked about expressing your emotions accurately. So you also need to get to a, a space where um, you know, it's quiet, it's meditation, um, the hoopla and the jumping around and the engaging in so much stuff and people and energy and drama. You can't hear your intuition because life around you is too loud. So you need to kind of get to a place of decluttering. Okay. Um, it's like the universe is trying to speak to you about you. It's been whispering to you, but you have been missing the whisper. Let's see. Uh, look at the last card. Yeah, so definitely intuition, spirit, spiritual connection, especially if you're feminine energy. You should be connected to spirit because if you're connected to spirit, when you find your man or your masculine energy, he's going to see that in you and you're going to also lead him to your spiritual your spiritual um, guide, your spiritual belief. You're going to root and ground him in that. You're going to be his saving grace. But if you are a woman who's connected to no spirituality, you don't have any morale, you don't have anything that you value, then you're no better than he is. And you really don't have value to him. All right. It says reshuffle, please. All right. So I'm going to reshuffle. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, you need to learn how to. So this could be about sex, intimate relationships. Um, and how you express yourself. This could be exotic dancers. This could be being in the um, pornography field or something of that nature. Um, so I don't know if you express yourself sexually. You know, um, this also could be um, maybe some of you need to kind of reserve yourself, hold back. You need to forgive yourself for being, you know, overly expressive in terms of your sexuality. You don't need to lead with it also. You need to kind of tame yourself or, or tame your sexual nature. Yeah, especially if you engage in like carefree connections a lot and you kind of are promiscuous. Promiscuity is just defined by many starts, many starts, no finishes. You don't finish anything. You don't finish your relationship. You, you just start it. So that's what, you know, that's, a chi that's the Chinese proverb definition but we know that promiscuity is just yeah it is many starts but um uh you're gonna have to really look at yourself you know and, and maybe let something else develop within you you know go in a new direction yeah if you want to meet your person if you want to meet the perfect person for you you got to be the perfect person so you got to make some healthy choices in terms of you know changing yourself and it's not an overnight thing you know, you can change systematically about, you know, yourself. Yeah, you definitely need to go into like hermit mode and really think, rethink your personality. This talks about a personality change, a philosophy change. You need to change your own personal philosophy. Yeah. All right, so let's see what's going on for career and finance. Career and finance. Yes, you got a definite yes. You got the one with the exclamation point. There are two yes in this deck. So 
um, whatever it is, it's definitely yes. So, so that's good. So whatever the question is, you come into the reading for it is yes. Am I approved? Yes. Will I find a job? Yes. All right. Yeah, don't stop. Whatever it is you're doing, do not stop. The angels are saying that they're working with you on your behalf. If something feels like a setback, do know that there's something better. The universe, your angels are setting you up for something so much better. Yeah, it's like they're setting you up for something to come in the perf in the perfect timing. Like maybe there's another piece of the puzzle. It's just not the timing. Um, yeah, and then you have a timing card within the next few months. So, um career and finance looks like uh, there'll be some opportunity at the perfect time maybe right now is not the right time within the next few months you'll receive maybe a yes answer definite yes in terms of what you should do and how you should move this looks really good many blessings to you Taurus if you feel like you want to get your own personal reading go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link if i bless you bless me you know if you can if you feel moved to do so um catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys many blessings to you